Hello steve -O's. welcome to weekly vlog number 92. It is Monday morning, I'm currently on my way to Castle Point to catch the bus from Castle Point to uh, Bournemouth Town Centre as today I'm heading off to see my support worker Joe. I'm going to go and see my friend Nick as well and I'm going to see Nick's brand new support worker which is called Harry and he's obviously new to my support worker's business. Today we're going to go and play some mini golf in Bournemouth. So after seeing my support workers Joe and Harry and uh, my friend Nick as well we went uh, to Mr Mulligan's in Bournemouth and played some uh, mini golf and then after that I then left and went to Castle Point and stopped off to pick up some lunch. For lunch today I had a chicken and bacon Caesar triple wrap with some uh, corn picnic eggs that were reduced and I've just got home and I'm gonna have my prawn cocktail uh, walkers as part of my meal deal along with this monster uh, pipeline punch drink and while I do that I'm gonna currently watch uh, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch on Netflix on my TV in my bedroom on this Monday afternoon. Nervous. Watching Seinfeld on Netflix. So I've just finished watching the first episode of The Big Bang Theory on Netflix on my TV in my bedroom on this Monday afternoon and now I'm watching the first episode of Only Fools and Horses on Britbox on my TV in my bedroom. For dinner tonight I have bratwurst sausages, some mash, some mixed veg and some green bean. Currently watching Pretty Smart, a Netflix original series on Netflix on my iPad. Monday night, just got back from taking Buddy for his last walk around the backfield on this Monday evening. I've made myself my final cup of tea of the evening as well. And I'm currently watching the final episode of The Walking Dead Series 11 Part 1 on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom. Part 2 of The Walking Dead will be back on Disney Plus here in the UK and Ireland from the 21st of February 2022. Monday night and I've got into my pyjamas ready for bed so all I need to do now is to uh, turn my fan on there we go my fan is on and shut my curtains so good night world see you tomorrow Tuesday morning chilly start to the day I'm on my way to work because I'm doing a quarter past six to quarter past ten shift Looking buddy for a walk around the backfield just had some lunch for lunch today I had a egg cucumber salad cream sandwich which was made by my mum and I also had some bacon rasher crisps and a chocolate bar just made myself a cup of tea oh man I'm really looking forward to the next couple of days Friday the 15th of October, which is later this week and later in the weekly uh, vlog here on uh, YouTube channel Steve Official. I am going off to see Venom Let There Be Carnage at 11.40am. Really looking forward to seeing that. I'm going to the recliner screening, so I had to pay three quid to go and sit in a seat in the cinema. But you know what? It's definitely worth it. And then... Uh, later on in the afternoon on Friday the 15th of October 2021 at 10 past 4 I am going to see Halloween Kills! Cannot wait to see an hour and 45 minutes of Michael Myers slashing through his victims and yeah I really can't wait to see that brutal horror movie uh, so I'm going to have the movie reviews uh, coming out for Venom Let There Be Carnage and Halloween Kills that's going to be coming up a little bit later on in this week's weekly vlog here on my YouTube channel Steve Official next week I am going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on Ron's Gone Wrong as I'm going to be seeing that on Monday October 18th 2021 at 11.40 and then after that at 1.50 um, on October 18th I am then going to go and see The Last Jewel uh, which stars Jodie Comer and Matt Damon I really really cannot wait to see uh, those two movies um, but yeah so honestly my list is looking pretty full right now and can I also just add as well that if Halloween Kills is oh, excuse me any good I just burped <laughs> Oh, excuse me! Um, it's all that excitement. Um, but if Halloween Kills is any good on Friday next week, then potentially next week on Wednesday, or maybe even earlier than Wednesday, I might go and see a second viewing of Halloween Kills. Because honestly, it's just so awesome and just so bloody and so... Ah! In your face! Um... <laughs> But there we go. You guys, there's more reasons to get excited because next Monday at 6pm UK time, Apple have announced that there is going to be a brand new event. It is called Unleashed 
what are they going to be announcing? I have no freaking clue. So it could literally be absolutely anything. Anyway, I will let you guys know in next week's weekly vlog what Apple exactly announced at this Apple event, but yes, do feel free to tune in on their YouTube channel uh, or their Apple website, apple.com, uh, to watch their Apple event take place. It'll be happening live Monday the 18th of October at 6pm UK time. So, this afternoon, it's been a big afternoon in the world of news, so I just thought I'd bring you a quick update in terms of what's been happening in the world of movies. So first of all, what you guys are just about to see right now is a poster for the brand new Scream movie, which obviously has obviously released a brand new... Uh, poster and alongside that brand new poster is also a brand new trailer as well obviously it sees uh, Neve Campbell uh, coming back as the original character Sydney Prescott uh, we see Gail, we uh, Gail Weathers played by Courtney Cox uh, she is coming back as well uh, so there's quite a few cast members from the original screen movies that are going to be coming back uh, to portray their roles as their titular characters um, I am really really looking forward to seeing this movie it's going to be so good to see Ghostface back on the big screen uh, once again um, and obviously this is going to be the fifth instalment in the Scream franchise um, and this movie is going to be released in US cinemas and UK cinemas uh, on January 14th 2022 really looking forward to seeing that on the big screen next year and also as well can I just say that as a horror fan you know, I absolutely love uh, seeing the Scream movies. I have seen all four of them before and I thought they were really, really good. Um, and I really can't wait to see my first Scream movie on the big screen. I've never seen Scream on the big screen before. So this I'm really, really looking forward to seeing uh, next year in January 2022. Over to Disney Plus right now. A brand new poster uh, released for uh, Home Sweet Home Alone, uh, which seems to be... Looking at the trailer, which was also released earlier this afternoon, looking at the trailer for this movie, it seems to be the British version of the original Home Alone movie that came out uh, way back in the early 90s, starring uh, Macaulay Culkin, who played uh, Kevin McAllister in the movie. Um, now, obviously, I do feel as though with this trailer, it does seem to be a little bit like a remake, uh, to be honest, and it does kind of mirror the same uh, storyline as the original Home Alone movie. Um, but in this movie, though, it does star Keenan Thompson and Rob Delaney as well, who is well known known for playing a role in the movie Deadpool 2 um, and I mean to be honest I am still going to be watching this this movie was done by 20th Century Studios um, and yeah I mean to be honest I am going to watch it just to see what it's like I will give you guys my thoughts and opinions on Home Sweet Home Alone uh, when it does get released uh, this movie is going to be releasing globally it is a Disney Plus original movie uh, it is going to be coming to Disney Plus uh, globally uh, on the on November 12th so one month today as part of Disney Plus Day. That's when you guys will be able to see that. So uh, there we go. There's a couple of bits I wanted to talk about as well. Uh, which you might just be seeing very quickly right now on screen. Uh, and that is that The Eternals uh, was spoken about yesterday. Um, so Chloe Zayo uh, has actually been speaking to the press, uh, to the media uh, yesterday about uh, the brand new movie. The movie is going to be reaching US cinemas and UK cinemas on November 5th. Uh, so we're literally less than a month away until the next Marvel Studios movie hits uh, cinemas. And of course, uh, like all the other Disney theatrical releases for the rest of 2021, Eternals is going to be in cinemas for 45 days uh, before it then shifts over to Disney+. Plus. Hopefully we'll get it on Disney Plus before Christmas. But Chloe Zayo has been speaking to the press though, and obviously there has been some brand new posters uh, released, character posters, should we say, that have been released online. Uh, there has also been a brand new little look at a trailer um, as well for the movie. And Chloe Zayo has also revealed that there is going to be two post credit scenes at the very end of Eternals. Um, and two of which are going to be very important because they do set up the future of the MCU. And there's also going to be a couple of surprises within those 
uh, post credit scenes as well. So they're definitely worth sticking around at the very end of Eternals uh, to watch. And she's also revealed that this is going to be the third, um, the third longest MCU movie, Marvel Cinematic Universe movie as well, as it's going to be clocking in at just over 2 hours and 30 minutes. I believe the running time uh, for this movie is going to be 2 hours and 37 minutes. So Eternals, like I say, is going to be released in cinemas, uh, in US and UK cinemas, on November 5th, 2021. Really looking forward to seeing that movie. And finally, Edgar Wright yesterday also revealed a brand new trailer as a matter of fact, this is the final trailer that's going to be released. It was released online yesterday. Uh, the final trailer was released for Last Night in Soho, which is going to be coming out in US and UK cinemas on the 29th of October 2021. The movie stars Anya Taylor-Joy, Thomasin McKenzie and Matt Smith. Really look forward to seeing that movie at the very end of this month. i tell you what. Uh, from a guy who's gone from comedy movies such as Shaun of the Dead, Baby Driver, Hot Fuzz, etc. Moving over to horror movies, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing this movie. Finally, um, just very quickly as well, the director of Halloween Kills and the upcoming Exorcist prequel... Uh, David Gordon Green has also revealed that he has got an upcoming project where he is going to be doing a movie for Disney Plus and that's going to be uh, talking about, uh, well it's going to be looking at the origins of Disneyland. So it's really funny to be honest because from a guy who has directed Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills uh, 2021, Halloween Ends 2022 and the, the Exorcist, sequ uh, Exorcist prequel uh, which will be coming up I believe in 2023. He has in the past directed a Christmas movie called The Polar Express which came out in the early 2000s but for a guy who we all know is a director who does plenty of horror movies for him to then shift back over to a family friendly Disneyland movie kind of makes me think what if maybe he made Mickey Mouse turn dark you know into a dark figure um, and basically treat people like slaves um, you know and basically tell them to build Disneyland and if they don't do what they uh, what he's asked them to do then they basically enter some sort of squid game-esque type um, series of events really you know where things get extremely brutal and they get murdered um you know i mean to be honest that could <laughs> you know that would be really funny if that happened the other thing is is i would absolutely love it if michael myers just turned up at disneyland after it was made and just completely slaughtered people but again this ain't gonna happen because obviously well first of all disney don't own the rights to michael myers secondly this is a family friendly movie that's going to be hitting disney plus so i don't think there's going to be any horror elements to this Disneyland movie but after seeing so many Disneyland documentaries on Disney Plus myself I'm really looking forward to seeing this Disneyland movie hit Disney Plus within the next few years so there we go there's a couple of movie updates for you um, of course I will be bringing you some movie reviews a little bit later on in this week's weekly vlog uh, including Madlez and The Manor on Amazon Prime Video and I'll also be bringing you um, some movie reviews for Halloween Kills and Venom Let There Be Carnage as well. That's going to be coming up towards the end of this week's weekly vlog. So it's Tuesday night and I've just had my dinner for dinner tonight. I had a chicken char grill which was very spicy by the way. Uh, along with a can of uh, uh, baked beans and sausages. I had some of that and I also had some chips to go with it. And for dessert I had a Muller strawberry rice pudding flavoured uh, dessert. Um, which was really, really nice. Can I just say that I'm very, very shocked because I couldn't for, before I had dinner, I couldn't remember what my iPad was, what generation my iPad was. Now, the current generation that we are seeing hitting the shelves in, uh, in, uh, good electronic retailers across the UK and around the world right now, um, is the ninth generation of iPad, iPad 9. My iPad which I still use today, by the way, is the iPad 5th generation. 5th! 5th generation! Can't believe it. I cannot believe that, you know, we've had iPad 6, iPad 7, iPad 8. We've had four generations of iPads. And yet, my iPad is still able to update itself to uh, the latest iOS updates and, and stuff like that. So... It's amazing. It really is amazing. 
Tuesday night and I've just got back from taking Buddy for his last walk around the backfield and I've also just made myself my last cup of tea of the evening and taken my medication for this evening as well. I am now heading off to bed as I've got work early tomorrow morning so from me it's good night and I will see you guys in the next scene of the weekly vlog but before I do go to bed though I'm just going to quickly shut my curtains. So good night world, see you tomorrow. Very good morning everyone, it is Wednesday morning, we're halfway through the week and halfway through the weekly vlog and here we go to school, I've just arrived at work. So just got into work as I'm doing a quarter past 6 to quarter past 10 shift today at work and I've just made myself a flask of coffee which I'm going to drink in a few moments time and I'm currently listening to some music on Apple Music on my phone through my headphones on this Wednesday morning. Just got home from work and just about to get out of my work uniform. Taking Buddy for his second walk of the day around the backfield. Just made myself a cup of tea and I'm just about to take my medication while I continue to watch Cool Summer on Prime Video. Watching Chucky on my iPad. Watching the final episode of Behind the Attraction on Disney Plus on my iPad. Watching Doogie Kamaloha MD on Disney Plus on my iPad. Watching a brand new show on Disney Plus called Reservation Dogs on my iPad. Watching the final episode of the series of Chippendale Park Life on Disney Plus on my iPad. Watching Why the Last Man on Disney Plus on my iPad. Watching Only Murders in the Building on Disney Plus on my iPad. Watching Star Wars Visions on Disney Plus on my iPad. Now watching The Great North on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom. Watching Just Beyond on Disney Plus on my TV. And watching American Horror Stories Episode 6 on Disney Plus on my TV. Morning all, it's Thursday morning, just woke up and I'm just about to get dressed. So just about to turn my fan off, there we go. And just about to open my curtains. It's looking a bit cloudy out there this morning. Taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the backfield. For breakfast day, I've got chocolatey square cereal and I've just made myself my first cup of tea of the day. Just about to take my medication while I also drink my second cup of tea of the day. You guys. I have a parcel right here. Now, there is going to be a special YouTube video which you guys can watch right now on my YouTube channel, Steve Official, so feel, feel free uh, to check it out. But uh, stick around because in the next scene of the weekly vlog, I'll show you guys exactly what I got parcel wise today. And um, if you already know, well, you've already watched the YouTube video that I've already uploaded. But um, yeah, anyway. Take a look. So, I am currently watching Majlis on Amazon Prime Video on a brand new tablet that is the Samsung Galaxy S uh, Tab S7 Plus. It is super loud! I love it! Absolutely love it. Anyway, I did a YouTube video on it, so uh, feel free after this week's weekly vlog if you've uh, not yet seen the video, check it out on my YouTube channel. Steve official, but I'm currently watching that right now on Amazon Prime Video. Now watching The Manor on Amazon Prime Video. Watching Black Mirror on Netflix on my TV in my bedroom. Currently watching an episode of Clickbait on Netflix on my TV in my bedroom. Watching Final Space on Netflix on my Tab S7 Plus. Now watching The Demilio Show on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom. Watching Diary of a Future President on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom. Watching Rick and Morty Season 5 Episode 5 on my iPad. Watching Bob's Burgers on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom. Okay, so I've got the Anchor website up here on Safari on my iMac as I'm just about to record Steve's weekly podcast episode 59 which you guys can listen to right now on Spotify Music, Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. Just search Steve's weekly podcast. Good morning everybody. It is Friday morning, uh, Friday the 15th of October 2021. Today I'm going to be heading off to the cinema to go and see Venom Let There Be Carnage and Halloween Kills, yes! Yes, after a year and a half of waiting for this movie to come out, uh, because obviously it did get delayed thanks to COVID, um, but uh, obviously uh, this movie is finally coming out today and I really really cannot wait to go and see it I uh, can't wait to go and see Michael Myers just absolutely slaughter people to death uh, it is literally going to be super awesome um, and yeah I just can't wait I really can't wait for it uh, it's been a very very long time coming 
Um, so yeah, so I'm going to see uh, Venom, Let There Be Carnage and uh, Halloween Kills today at the cinema. Um, really can't wait to go and see them. And uh, then obviously I'm going to be seeing Ron's Gone Wrong and The Last Duel, which are also out in the cinema today. Um, I'm going to be seeing that on Monday next week. So really looking forward uh, to seeing those movies. Uh, movies as well but anyway it is Friday morning I have just woke up literally I have woke up at seven o'clock this morning as soon as my alarm went off I didn't uh, decide to have a lay-in or anything like that I literally woke up went to the toilet got dressed and then uh, unlocked the front door and took Buddy out um, which is currently what I'm doing right now I'm taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the backfield on this Friday morning very early very early breakfast today I've got chocolatey square pillows just made my first cup of tea of the day I'm back outside once again as I'm about to go and catch the bus from Castle Point uh, to Bournemouth Town Centre so I'm in Weatherspoons and I've got myself a cup of mocha right there and I've just ordered myself a large breakfast, a Friday large breakfast. I've got some hash brown sausage, bacon, egg, beans, mushrooms and some toast. Here we go! Just about to see Halloween Kills and Venom Let There Be Carnage at BH2 in Bournemouth. So it is Friday afternoon, just got back from the cinema after seeing Venom Let There Be Carnage and Halloween Kills at the cinema uh, at Odeon's BH2 Leisure Centre uh, Cinema uh, in Bournemouth. So. I'm going to talk about that in a, f a few moments, but uh, first of all, I just want to say that for lunch today, I had a triple sandwich uh, from Tesco. I had a Tesco meal deal, so I had a triple sandwich along with some McCoy's uh, packet of crisps and a uh, bottle of Coca-Cola, which I've still got in my bag. I also picked up a big bottle of tropical juice, which I was drinking uh, during Venom Let There Be Carnage as well. Now, let's get into the movie reviews for Venom Let There Be Carnage and Halloween Kills. So we're going to start with Venom Let There Be Carnage first. I must say that this movie was quite good in some ways. I mean, I did enjoy the interaction. I enjoyed the fight scenes uh, between Eddie Brock and, um, and, um, what, what's his name? What is his name? Uh, Carnage, um, whatever it is, uh, uh, Cletus, that's it, Cletus, uh, Cletus is his name. Um, so really, really did enjoy that scene. Um, and I thought that was pretty epic, to be honest. That fight scene in itself was really, really epic. Um, and to be honest, I mean, I was slightly disappointed at this movie at the same time because there wasn't really a lot of violence in it. And with Venom being such a violent character and even Carnage being a, a violent character as well in the comics and stuff, I would have thought that maybe they would have had some more on-screen violence, but... It kind of lacked in that sense of things. So I weren't really too happy about that. But on the whole though, Woody Harrelson and um, and Tom Hardy, they played the roles of their respective characters uh, really, really well. And therefore, I did enjoy the movie. I do feel as though this movie could have been a little bit longer, to be honest. I felt like as if in some parts of the movie, it was rushed. Um, so... But other than that though, I really did enjoy it and I totally do recommend it and st uh, stick around because uh, like with many of the other Marvel movies that there are out there, uh, there are there is a mid credit scene uh, at the end of the movie um, and it is definitely worth sticking around for. It does set itself up for a future movie. Um, Oh, that's all I'm going to say for now because I can't talk about anything else uh, in regards to Venom Let There Be Carnage. Uh, obviously, I know by the time this vlog's uh, gone out on YouTube that obviously the, uh, Venom would have been out um, for one weekend and a lot of people would have gone to see it over that past weekend. But, 
you know, for those who are maybe planning to go and see this movie, maybe towards the end of the week when this vlog goes out, or even during the second weekend uh, of the movie hitting cinemas, I don't want to spoil the mid credit scene, so I'm going to leave that part there. But uh, it is definitely a very, very interesting watch, and... Um, yeah, I do hope and pray that you guys do enjoy the movie, because I definitely did. Um, you know, even though it did have its downfalls, I guess. Um, but other than that, it was still a really lovely movie, and I think I would definitely watch it again. Um, so yeah. Uh, moving on to Halloween Kills. Now, this is a movie that I've been waiting for for a very, very long time, Halloween Kills. Um, obviously, last July, it was announced that Halloween Kills, which was originally going to be coming out in October 2020, uh, was delayed by a year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So here we are now, October 2021, and the movie has finally hit the big screens here in the UK and in the US, and it is also available on the US streaming service Peacock as well. Now, I did go and see Halloween Kills. Um, now, what I did love about it is the fact we got these flashback scenes from the 1978 movies, Really did like that. I'm a little bit confused though because how did they get Dr. Loomis in those 1978 scenes? Because obviously the act, uh, the actor that uh, plays that played Dr. Loomis in the original uh, movies um, has sadly passed away. He passed away many years ago. So I'm really confused as to how they kind of got what looked like the original actor back to do the original 1978 movie, um, scenes for, for, for this movie. I mean, that confused me, to be honest, but there we go. Uh, but I still did enjoy seeing those classic scenes, though, from the 1978 era um, of the movies. Obviously, I have seen repeatedly the, um, those original Halloween movies, and, you know, obviously the original movie is really, really good, um, especially for that era. But, you know, the fact that we got these flashback scenes uh, during Halloween Kills was also really, really good as well. Did enjoy that. Um, now, I must say that I also do love the fact that, obviously, they did a continuation story on 2018. So, the events that happened on Halloween night in 2018, um, they obviously continued that in Halloween Kills. So, obviously, it's still the same night. Um, yeah, obviously, I love the fact that Michael Myers was able to escape that burning trap house fire that he was uh, left in at the end of uh, Halloween back in 2018. I love the fact he was able to escape and continue his reign of terror on Haddonfield. Um, you know, and honestly, the deaths in that movie are completely brutal. And do you know something? There are some deaths in that movie which we don't even see in the trailers um so i can vouch that there are some some deaths in that in that movie that you don't even see in the trailers but it's just such a brutal movie it really really is such a brutal brutal movie um and i loved it i really did love it and i am debating now whether to go and give it a second viewing at the cinema maybe next week um i'm not too sure at the moment whether or not i do want to or not but you know it admittedly it did have a couple of issues with the movie uh i felt like laurie strode was just a wasted character in this you know, because, like, all she was doing, pretty much, was just laying... I mean, obviously, I know she would have been laying in her hospital bed because she was badly injured. But, you know, there was this one scene where she tried to get up and, you know, obviously, she um, stabbed herself with a needle and said, oh, this will take the pain away, you know. Um, so she stabbed it into a stab wound or something, this medication in, in a needle. Um, and... For for like a few, for about a scene or two, she, you know, she was walking around like as if she hadn't been stabbed in the stomach whatsoever. But then all of a sudden, her stitches started coming undone on her stomach, so she had to go back and rest on her hospital bed. But I just felt like throughout that movie, she was just a wasted character, you know. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, I did like it, and you know, it's really really funny because. Um, 
you know, it does set itself up for Halloween Ends. Now, what's interesting is the fact that in Halloween Ends, which comes out in October 14th, 2022, the movie is going to be moving away from 2018. Um, so we're, we're basically going to be seeing the events that take place in basically 2022. Um, so because the time frame when that movie gets released, Halloween Ends, when Halloween Ends comes out, they're basically going to be in um, the time frame, uh, time frame October 2022. So therefore, I... You know, I'm I'm curious to know how they're going to continue with the Michael Myers story. Um, you know, uh, when the, yeah, basically around about five years later after the events of 2018. So it's going to be very interesting to see basically how that happens. But um, yeah, really, I'm looking forward to seeing Halloween ends though. Um, and I'm really, really glad that we finally got to see Halloween kills um, at the cinema today. So there we go. So that is a couple of my movie reviews for you um, in this week's weekly vlog. Um, I mean, I do still recommend that people go and see Halloween kills and Venom Let There Be Carnage as well. Uh, they are thoroughly really good movies. Um, and do check out uh, my weekly vlog movie reviews next week because I will be talking about Ron's Gone Wrong and The Last Jewel, which I'll be going to see at the cinema on Monday next week. Currently watching Sophie Doddsworth on YouTube as she unboxed the Apple Watch Series 7. All I've got left to do is drink my last cup of tea of the evening and take my medication and then head off to bed, switch my light out and head off to bed as I have got work early tomorrow morning as it is Saturday. Anyway, a couple more weeks left and then I'm on holiday. Yeah. But in the meantime, no, I am just about to switch my fan on as usual. My usual nighttime ritual of switching on my fan and shut my curtains so good night world see you tomorrow <sighs> a bit of light rain to start the day good morning everyone i really hope that light rain does not turn into uh, heavy rain especially while i'm on my way to work but anyway very good morning it is saturday morning i've just woke up and i've got myself dressed into my work uniform and it's currently just gone half past four in the morning and i'm starting off my day by taking buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighborhood so i've just made my flask of tea to take with me to work and i also ran my thumb under the hot tap while the uh, while the water was filling up in my flask that was a wake-up call that i did not need because that really did hurt anyway so i've just made my uh, flask to take with me to work all I need to do now is put my Apple Watch on my wrist and then I'm ready to go to work. I've just got into work, made myself a, a flask of coffee to start my day and I'm currently listening to some music on my headphones on my mobile phone on Apple Music. So it is Saturday afternoon, got home from work after doing a uh, quarter past six to quarter past eleven shift today and I've taken Buddy for his uh, second walk of the day around the backfield. Uh, and I've also come home and got out of my work uniform, made my uh, cup of tea and taken my medication as well. But I just wanted to show you this. So this here is a blue USB cable. Obviously, I've got multiple USB cables in here, uh, which obviously charges various different devices. Obviously, I've got my iPad there and I've got my um, my Jewel, uh, Duet, sorry, Duet. Um, uh, laptop on charge as well um, which I use uh, the du so the duet I use a lot for uh, obviously my housing paperwork and stuff like that and to do zoom calls with my support workers and stuff like that on it so I use that quite a lot my iPad I'm still using at the minute to watch things um, at night on uh, an app called Pluto TV um, so yeah so I'm using that still at the moment as well but I wanted to show you this, so this blue uh, USB cable is going all the way, I'm going to follow this lead, look, all the way, it's even long, it's quite long, it's a three meter long cable, 
and this is where it ends in my brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus device um, which I got earlier this week. I'm currently watching East uh, Classic EastEnders on UK TV Play at the moment but this is charging my tablet. Now I what I must say is I really do like it because now it means that rather than uh, leaving my tablet up against my bedroom wall which I've been doing for the last couple of days I am now able to uh, lay in bed and watch TV shows and movies on my tablet without it um, having to come off charge. So I've got two of these. So I got that one uh, for my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, but the other one, which is currently in the box at the moment, and again, it comes in blue, uh, I'm going to use that for my phone because again, when I wake up in the morning and I check social media and stuff like that, I have to take my phone off charge to check social media and stuff. And then obviously the battery starts to die down to around about 89 or 85% by the time I'm done checking social media or going on my phone for like the first half an hour or an hour um, when I wake up in the morning. So the fact that I've got two of these... Obviously, I've got one for my tablet, which obviously I'll be able to lay in bed and watch TV shows and movies on from. Um, but the other one, I'll be able to keep my phone on charge whilst I'm laying in bed, checking social uh, social media um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, so I do think it is very ideal to have both um, of them. Uh, but if you are wondering where I did get them from, I got them from Amazon. I got them for £11.69. I've literally just ordered my mum uh, two of those as well because she's going to uh, use one for her Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus that she has and for her Samsung Galaxy S8 uh, phone as well. So, so yeah, so honestly, really, really good buy. Really impressed with that as well. Um, and I definitely do recommend it. Just about to watch this week's episode of Spitting Image, a BritBox original series on BritBox on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. <laughs> now watching classic Coronation Street on ITV Hub on my Tab S7 Plus. Now watching this week's episodes of Coronation Street on ITV Hub. Catching up on this week's episodes of EastEnders on BBC iPlayer on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Watching an episode of Pretty Smart on Netflix. Watching an episode of Seinfeld on Netflix. Watching The Big Bang Theory on Netflix. So it is Saturday night and I have got into my pyjamas and I'm now heading off for bed. So from me it's good night and I will catch you guys tomorrow. But before I do head off to bed though, I'm just about to turn my fan on. There we are, fan is switched on and it's good night world. See you tomorrow. A very good morning everyone. It is Sunday morning and I've woke up, got dressed into my work uniform and I'm currently outside. It's just gone half past four in the morning and I'm starting my day by taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. So I've made my uh, flask of tea which I've currently got in my pocket right now and I've obviously got my Apple Watch on my wrist as well so that I know what the time is what, throughout my shift at work and I'm currently on my way to work as today I'm doing a 6.45 till 11.45 shift at work so just got into work and I'm about five minutes away from starting my shift as the time is 6.40 a.m. at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog but I have got my flask of coffee which I'm about to down in one pretty much and I'm also listening to some music on Apple Music on my mobile phone. I am in a few moments time uh, going to be listening to the What's on Disney Plus podcast from this week on Google Podcasts and you know what? I'm going to listen back to my, my weekly po uh, podcast that I did earlier this week as well. Yeah, I think I might do that. So I've just got home from work and I have got out my work uniform and I'm now currently taking Buddy for his second walk of the day around the backfield. I'm super tired. Honestly, I think this afternoon is going to call for a nap. I think this afternoon because I'm just so tired um, but yeah anyway so yeah so I'm taking Buddy for his second walk of the day 
around the back field. Just had lunch. For lunch today I had uh, some pasta with some sort of cheese sauce um, and I also had a packet of crisps. Packet of crisp wise I had some salted pom bears. Gotta love pom bears. Binge watching my way through Just Beyond on Disney Plus on my Tab S7 Plus device. Now watching American Horror Story Season 9 1984 on Disney Plus on my Tab S7 Plus. So I just thought that I would talk about Just Beyond on Disney Plus because I've spent all afternoon this afternoon watching the series on Disney Plus. Obviously all eight episodes are available to stream uh, right now on the streaming service and they have been uh, for the last half a week. Um, so I spent the majority of this afternoon watching all eight episodes. Now I just feel as though the, the soundtrack to the show, can I add, is just absolutely amazing and I absolutely love a lot of the songs that were used. A lot of the songs in that show were very very recognisable. Um, so I really, really did enjoy that aspect of it, was the soundtrack to it. But even though these were separate, independent stories uh, by R.L. Stein, who is an author, who's done a lot of horror-based things in the past. Obviously, earlier this year on Netflix, we got uh, the Fear Street trilogy movies on Netflix. Um, so, you know, obviously... I saw that earlier this year and I thought the, the Fear Street trilogy was absolutely amazing. Really did love the Fear Street trilogy. So obviously, after knowing who R.L. Stein is, and obviously he is the one who has done these stories uh, for Just Beyond um, on Disney+. Plus. Um, yeah, I thought I'd check them out. And to be honest, there was only one, maybe even two episodes out of the eight episodes that I really did enjoy. There was one where a girl um, had this imagination. There was this slender, uh, slender man type um, monster. Um, and it was all in her head, of course. It wasn't actually real. It was a figment of her imagination. Um, and in the end, she ended up taming this uh, Slenderman monster. Um, so I really did enjoy that episode. Um, the other episode that I really did enjoy was the one where the girl didn't think that she was really pretty. So she used an app to basically make herself look more pretty and it had some really big consequences in the end. Um, yeah, I won't give it away because obviously, you know, if you do want to uh, watch this show for yourself, like I say, it is available on Disney Plus right now and you're more than welcome to... Uh, go and check it out but you know apart from that I just felt like the stories that were being told had already been told in previous episodes um, and stuff like that so yeah so it is a bit of a weird one to be honest um, but feel free to check out the episodes for yourself though they are on Disney Plus let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on uh, just beyond if you have watched all eight episodes and do you have a favorite episode like I say Let me know in the comment section down below. would love to hear your thoughts DC fandom uh, took place over the weekend So I thought that I would talk about DC fandom because if you are a DC fan out there There's quite a lot for you to enjoy over the coming months and uh, over the next year or so. So uh, we did get a first look at Piers Brosnan as Dr. Fate in uh, Black Adam. We also got a first look at Black Adam as well. Uh, we got a first look at The Flash with his gold boots uh, for The Flash Season 8. Uh, we also had our first look at Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Black Adam. Uh, we got some art from Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. And we also got a new look at Jason Moama uh, uh, in the stealth suit in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Uh, we got a first look at Black Manta in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. A behind the scenes look at uh, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Uh, we got Cyclone, Hawkman, Atom Smasher and Doctor Fate. They were all teased for Black Adam. Uh, there's a live action Static Shock movie uh, which has been confirmed to be in the works. Randy McKinnon is writing the script with Michael B. Jordan producing the movie. Uh, 
Um, an animated milestone movie is in the works at Warner Brothers. Uh, we also got more brand new art from the Aquaman The Lost Kingdom. Uh, we've got a new look at Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Uh, there was also the official trailer for Suicide Squad uh, Kill the Justice League that also got released at yesterday's DC Fandom event. Uh, we also got a first look at the Flash and Green Lantern in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Uh, James Gunn was on set with John Cena's Peacemaker and Freddy Stromer's Vigilante. Uh, so we got a photo of that. Uh, there was a first look at Teen, Teen Titans Go! and DC Superhero Girls crossover movie, which is going to be releasing on Cartoon Network in 2022. Uh, James Gunn's Peacemaker series will be premiering on January 13th on the US streaming service that is HBO Max. And we also got a first trailer for James Gunn's Peacemaker as well. Uh, we got a look at Vigilante in uh, the Peacemaker series. We also got a first look at My Adventures with Superman. Um, and Superman has a new mission statement, Truth, Justice and A Better Tomorrow. We also got a first look at Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Crypto The Super Dog and Kevin Hart's Ace The Bat Hound in League of Super Pets. We're going to be getting a first trailer uh, for that in November. Doom Patrol has been renewed for Season 4. Uh, the full cast for DC uh, League of Super Pets has been announced. So, as mentioned, Dwayne Johnson, uh, Kevin Hart will be starring in this. Along with uh, Vanessa Bayer, John Krasinski, uh, Diego Luna, Mark Maron, Natasha Lyon, uh, Kate McKinnon and Keanu Reeves. Uh, we also have the return of Michael Keaton's Batman in The Flash. Uh, we also got an image of Flash, Flash 2.0 and Supergirl in The Flash as well. Uh, Ezra Miller as The Flash as well. We also got to see that. Uh, we got a first look poster and Gwendoline Christie as Lucifer in Netflix series The Sandman, which hopefully will be coming uh, to the streaming service next year. Um, we also got a first teaser for The Flash as well. Uh, we got a first look at concept art for the live action Blue Beetle movie. Uh, we also got a new trailer for Gotham Knights. We also got our first look at Nightwing and the Penguin in Gotham Knights. Catwoman ha Hunted, uh, starring Elizabeth uh, Gillies and Stephanie Beatrice, um, will be releasing on February 18th, 2022. A new animated movie, Battle of the Super Sons, uh, will release in 2022. The main cast for the Batman Unburied podcast has been announced. We've got Winston Duke as Batman, uh, Gina Rodriguez as Barbara Gordon, and Sam Witwer as the Harvester. First look at concept art as well. We've got a first look uh, concept art uh, for the live-action Batgirl movie. Uh, Titans has been renewed for season 4 at HBO Max. Uh, we also got a look at Leslie Grace's Batgirl. She will have red hair and a cowl. Uh, we also got a first look at Harley Quinn Season 3. Uh, Bruce Timm uh, says his pitch for Batman Cape Crusader is that it's more Batman the Animated Series than Batman the Animated Series. There were certain limitations at that time on what we could do in terms of adult content and violence. Uh, we also got another first look at the ongoing work on Harley Quinn Series 3 as well. J.J. Uh, Abrams calls Batman Caped Crusader an incredibly complex psychological story about someone in a way who needs to be redeemed, which is kind of what this first season is about. Uh, we also got a first teaser for Harley Quinn Season 3. Um... So, Bruce Tim has also described Batman Cape Crusader as film noir set in a kind of timeless 40s world. He says, the way we deal with characters is going to be more modern in terms of inclusivity and representation. Uh, the first two episodes of Young Justice Phantoms are now available on HBO Max. Uh, new episodes will be releasing on the US streaming service every Thursday. We got a first look at Rosario Dawson in DMZ for HBO Max. Uh, we also got a first look at Rachel Zegler in Shazam Fury of the Gods. 
Uh, we've got a first look at Helen Mirren, Lucy Liu, and Rachel Zegler in Shazam Fury of the Gods. Patty Jenkins confirms she is working on Wonder Woman 3. Uh, we've got a first look at Zachary Levi's return as Shazam in Shazam Fury of the Gods. We've got some concept art from the movie as well. Pennyworth Season 3 will be released exclusively on HBO Max in 2022. And we also got a look at Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne and Batman. And we also got um, a trailer for the Batman, which is going to be releasing in 2022. Uh, Robert Pattinson auditioned for the Batman using Val Kilmer's Batsuit. Uh, we got a first look at Andy Serkis as Alfred in the Batman movie. Uh, there's also been some images released of Batman and Catwoman as well. Uh, we also got a look at Zoe Kravitz as Selina Kyle, Colin Farrell as the Penguin. Um, yeah, I mean, that is, I think, pretty much everything that got announced, uh, really, at, um, yeah, at the DC Fandom event. So there is a lot really there. Uh, to digest. Now, can I just say that I've never seen a DC show in my life. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of DC movies in the past, like Suicide Squad and Batman Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises and Aquaman and uh, Shazam and the recent Suicide Squad uh, movie as well, uh, directed by James Gunn. So I've seen a lot of the DC movies, so I am... Uh, in a way, a bit of a fan of, of DC. I'm not as a huge fan of DC as I am with Marvel. Um, and there are definitely a lot of shows that, that are there that I do need to explore. I mean, Gotham is one of them. Uh, Titans is another. Doom Patrol. Uh, uh, I think there's Legends of Tomorrow as well. Uh, there are so many DC shows out there that I do need to uh, go back and watch, um, especially now that a lot of these have been renewed for new seasons and stuff like that. So it would definitely be really good for me to go back and give them a watch. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what your thoughts are on this year's DC Fandom event. And also as well, let me know what show uh, you would recommend for me to watch in regards to DC as well, in the world of, of DC. I know there's like Smallville, there's uh, Supergirl, Stargirl, um, yeah, there's a lot of shows, there is a lot of shows uh, from the world of DC. The other thing is as well, while I'm on the subject of superheroes and stuff, there is a lot of shows on Netflix in regards to Marvel, which I've never seen before, which I'm hoping by the end of the year, I might have watched and as soon as I do watch those series whenever I do get round to watching them uh, I will let you know my thoughts and opinions on that as well so um, yeah so there we go um, so that is everything that got announced at this year's DC Fandom event 2021 so you guys look at this this is what my mum has got for me in my bedroom it's a lamp which has got some buildings on it like a city like it kind of reminds me a little bit of like new york city or something over it it's quite nice um so basically i got this new lamp in my bedroom because my main light that i have in my bedroom is quite bright and sometimes admittedly i do like to stay up uh quite late at night especially well more specifically when i'm not at work so for example, uh, tonight, uh, you know, I probably won't go to bed until maybe around about half past one, maybe even half two in the morning, because that's just what time I tend to go to bed when I'm not working. But if I'm working, you know, then I go to bed at a reasonable time, um, 10.30, um, 11 o'clock at the latest is when I tend to go to bed because obviously I've got to be up in the morning at quarter past four to get myself ready for work and then obviously go to work and do my shift. So obviously like a night like tonight for example you know I will probably stay awake until half past one half past two in the morning and my main light that I have obviously on my ceiling um, it is quite bright and it does actually end up shining through 
into my mum's bedroom despite my bedroom door being shut but obviously there's a little window thing on top of um, my bedroom door so obviously the light kind of shines through that window and then it kind of goes into my bed uh, into my mum's bedroom and yeah so so obviously I've now got this light here this lamp uh which i'm going to be using uh late at night um and yeah i i quite like it to be honest it's very bright this is the brightest that it can go and to be honest it's is enough light in my room for me to see what i'm doing see where i'm going see where i'm walking um around my room and stuff so yeah so i'm gonna definitely be using that um going forward for dinner tonight I have a sausage casserole. It's, uh, I am going to end this week's weekly vlog here um, because obviously it is Sunday night and I am going to have a Skype call uh, with my friend Kieran very shortly um, and take Buddy for his last walk of the evening around the backfield. I might also pop off to the shop as well because I need to get some bread because we're starting to run low on bread and I fancy a, a can of monster tonight, a can of monster energy drink. So, yeah, I might go for that as well. Uh, but anyway, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone watching uh, this week's weekly vlog. It's been absolutely a pleasure to do this weekly vlog. Next week, uh, fingers crossed, I am going to be playing on my Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be playing some Fortnite with my uh, US friend Hannah. Um, who I met online earlier this year. Um, and we've been talking a lot recently, which has been really, really nice. Um, getting to know her a little bit more and, um, and stuff. And she's asked me to play some Fortnite with her on Nintendo Switch, which I'm more than happy to do. Um, so, yeah, so I'm hopefully going to play some Fortnite with her um, next week. Um, so I might maybe vlog a bit of that um hopefully um and also as well next week i'm going to be meeting up with kieran we're going to be going to pool together um as always and have a day out there and um and yeah hopefully he'll appear in uh, next week's weekly vlog as well um and obviously next week i am going to be doing a run-up to last night in soho Despite the fact that movie is going to be released in UK and US cinemas on the 29th of October. But the first out of two soundtracks from that movie is going to be released next week. So I'm going to be talking about that uh, in a lot of detail. I'm also going to talk about uh, Emmerdale and Coronation Street throughout the week as well. Just giving you my thoughts and opinions on the dramatic stunt-filled week that's being lined up for those episodes. Um, I'm also going to talk about American Horror Story Series 9 because I'm currently binging that at the moment. So I'll give you my thoughts on that. I'll give you my thoughts on You Season 3, which is going to be my next binge watch after uh, season 9 of American Horror Story so I'll give you my thoughts on that in next week's weekly vlog as well and I will be going to the cinema next week uh, so I will be going to see Ron's Gone Wrong and The Last Duel so I'll give you my thoughts um, on both of those movies it's also the Apple event next week so I will talk about the Apple event and some of the things that got announced during the Apple event as well um, and there is also going to be, I'm going to be watching something that I have never really watched before, but I've been recommended it for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. And it's taken up until now for me to finally sit down and watch it. But I'm not going to reveal what that is right now. You guys are going to have to wait until next week's weekly vlog to find out. But anyway, in the meantime... Do uh, leave me a like, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and if you're not yet subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button to become a steve -o. You can follow me on Instagram, stevegramofficial or uh, the geeky stevie is my geeky Instagram page. Um, and you can also follow me on Twitter at my name is Steve O with the O being a zero. And don't forget as well, you can give me a follow on Twitch, Steve Crosby Official. And feel free to subscribe to me on Twitch as well as I am a Twitch affiliate. Uh, again, that username is Steve Crosby Official. I will, over the next couple of weeks, be getting back into gaming again. And uh, I will start to do a couple more streams again on Twitch. I just need to get a hard drive for my Xbox, but I will get 
get that in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Anyway, uh, that's all from me. I'll be back next week with another YouTube video here on this YouTube channel. That is Steve Official. But from me, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video.